Merci. Anne has been welcoming people to her home for a long time. Yes, 27 years. That's how long she's lived here. Her teenage girls were born here, but Anne and her family are tenants. They pay rent every month to their neighbour downstairs. In France, being a tenant is normal. Some people would say, well, you're losing all this money every month because you're giving it away instead of giving it for yourself. That's not true. I'm giving it to myself, to the way I like to leave. For Anne, that means a spacious period home on a hill outside Paris. She couldn't afford to buy it or keep up with repairs. She says her job finding rentals for Parisians is stressful enough. So why is it that renting is about as French as a coffee and a tartine? Well, some people say it's because the class system here is much more level. So there's no sense of status attached to being a homeowner rather than a tenant. Back home and in Liverpool, owning a home's getting harder, but it's still what most people want. Liz is trying to buy. The rent she and her boyfriend pay is going up, but so is the size of the deposit they'll need if they're going to buy. The prices have risen and it's probably about um, £20,000 more on average um, already and that's just within six months. So saving means moving away from Penny Lane and back across the city with mum and dad. Liz is 28. She's afraid she might be 30 before she's independent. So when did we become a nation obsessed with ownership? Well, if you had to pinpoint a particular moment, it could well be this. If you've been a council tenant for at least three years, you'll have the right by law to buy your house, and that's that. The idea of Thatcher's right to buy scheme was to include people in the housing market who otherwise couldn't afford to be there. But 35 years on, its legacy is leaving lots of people feeling locked out. Here it's all about how much money can they milk out of you. Adam was sick of handing his savings to landlords and agents. Then, when he was on holiday in Sweden, he spotted these. Not far from the city, five-bedroom houses with several acres of land for £160,000. I nearly died when I saw that. So he's moving to Sweden, just outside Malmo, where his money will go further. I can't be paying rent when I retire. It's, it's, it will kill me. So. I need to think about that, I need to own a house, and the only answer is just to get out of the insanity. There's no sign of that insanity calming down, but there are no plans for European-style tenant protections either. It leaves the next generation renting in a nation made for buyers. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.